Hi everyone, as you can tell by the title, we've got a brand new product here with us today. Aiden, why don't you unbox it for us? All right, should I do that in the usual home tech talk style? Sounds good. So, what do we have? There it is, the new Integra DRX 8.4. So there you have it. We've quickly unboxed this new Integra. Now, Aiden, why don't you run us through the features of this amplifier? Yep, so this is the new flagship from Integra. It's still uh, AVR, so internal amplification. This thing is an 11 channel processor with 11 channels of amplification on board. Uh, it's 150 watts a channel. Um, there are a few really key features that I love about it. We'll get to those when we get to the back, but it basically has all the features, everything from IMAX, DTSX, Dolby Vision, all of the you know stickers on the box, as they call them. It's got everything that you could ever want from a flagship AVR. And how can you calibrate this? It includes Dirac. Wow, that's awesome. And it also includes the new Dirac multi-sub, which is awesome. So it's got dual subwoofer outputs, and capable of running Dirac's multi-sub. All right, so this is where we're going to install the new Integra. So I'm gonna take out this Anthem AVM90 and these MCA amplifiers. So I've got 11 channels of amplification here running my cinema. Currently takes up about 12 RU worth of rack space. So a lot of power um, and a pre and power setup. So it's got some stiff competition. So we'll see how it goes. Now we are going to look at the setup and menu configuration of the Integra DRX 8.4. Let's take a look at the exciting Dirac Live calibration.
The Integra also integrates with major integration platforms such as Crestron, Savant, Control4, etc. And if you don't have an integration platform, it also has a newly designed app. It also works with major platforms in voice such as Alexa, Google, Siri, and Josh.ai. It also supports built-in streaming apps such as Spotify, Amazon, Chromecast, AirPlay 2, Tidal, Deezer, Pandora. It also works with Sonos. And it's also ready for Rune, the highest sound quality possible. So there you have it. As you can see, we've gone through the installation phase, the setup and configuration, and also the calibration. So Adam, what were your final thoughts? Yeah, I've really enjoyed my time with this Integra product. I'd like to thank the guys at Premium Audio Co for sending it out for review. I think it was incredible. Like the surround sound effect that it created in our in the room here was, you know, as good as anything I've heard. Um, it had flawless operation. I had no issue with the video switching, which, you know, a lot of times when you've got a, a beta product or a very new product to market, you might not necessarily have a flawless user experience in terms of video switching or, you know, whatever. So it's been very, very reliable in that sense. So I'm happy with that. Um, the only thing if I was going to give it maybe a less than 10 out of 10 score would just be the front of house amplification, which as we've already discussed, the options for solving that problem are pretty, are pretty flexible. So, I mean, in terms of running large front end audio system here on 11 channels of internal amplification, incredible. Yeah, I think it represents great value. If there was something I would change, it would be updating the front fascia to include a newer screen with better control options. So there you have it. If you are enjoying content like this, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to keep up to date. And don't forget to follow us at Home Tech Talk and thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.